would be a waste. Let's just do this one here. Okay. Let's get the other the other norm off. This is your uh, synapse. This is your axon here, okay, of your presynaptic neuron, okay, and this right here would be your postsynaptic neuron. The only thing you need to know here is that that's what this is, okay, this is your axonal terminal. This right here is your mitochondria, and these little vesicles contain neurotransmitters that exercise those here, travel across the synaptic cleft, and stimulate the, uh, the well, the postsynaptic uh, membrane. Okay. okay. Over here is one model of an axon. This whole thing here is a cell body. Okay. Each one of these little guys here, which is 12, is a dendrite. Dendrite, 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 so on and so forth. Okay. This right here is an axonal terminal of another, you know, a, a presynaptic uh, neuron. They're not labeled. Okay. This is the nucleus. Okay. This is the axon right here. The axon is in brown. It comes all the way down there. Right here and here, these are all swan cells. This is the swan cell nucleus here. And then the swan cell wraps, as it develops, it will wrap around the axon. And these are layers of its cell membrane that form multiple layers around the axon. And that is your myelin sheath. And swan cell nucleus, swan cell nucleus. And then between the swan cells, you get openings, and they are called the, the uh, nodes of Ranier. Okay. Now, again, you can see here's your uh, axon here. Okay. This is your myelin sheath around there. Okay. Now, uh, let me see, make sure I got everything here. Liga dendrocyte or swan cell, and that's really just the swan cell. Nerve brand of your axon, myelin sheath, nucleus cell body, dendrite. Okay. Now the other model, the other, the uh, other neuron model. <coughs> no, 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 no. no. That's, bring, keep that over. Keep. That's there because that's. That'll be next. Oh, the. Uh, the one that has the, the cell body on it and everything, the neuron. Neuron system model? No, not the, not the nervous system model. The neuron. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. This again is the neuron. This whole thing is the neuron cell body. The nucleus here. This has a little bit more detail because you can see the mitochondria in it. Okay. You can see the Golgi apparatus here. These right here are dendrites. Dendrites. Dendrites over here. Here you have the, again, the axonal terminals of another of the presynaptic neuron, coming here synapsin with this, the dendrites of this neuron. This is your axon here, okay. The initial part of the axon is the axon hillock. This whole part coming down here and in here is the actual axon. These little things look like sausages that are attached to the axon are swan cells, okay. This is the swan cell nucleus right here. This is the myelin sheath here. Okay. And then this right here is the space between the swan cells, the node of Branvier. Okay. Now, the uh, also what we needed to know was the spinal cord models. That big model. Get the big model. I hope you all all love Mr. McGraw for going through this again. Now, if, if I 
leave something out. You can't you say, wait a minute, I have a phone that you can go with this. You see that? Some of these things, this is so much stuff here that it inevitably, demonstrating this stuff is going to leave something out. It's fine. It's alright. It's alright. Okay. On this one here, and I'm not going to go reach one of the cranial nerves because they're clearly written in Roman numerals. They're all up here. Okay. And you can go over those. You're responsible for all those on here. Okay. But also on this one is going to be the, uh, the well, plexuses, I will tell you right now, I'll use the other model for plexuses, not this one. This one right here, though, I want you to know that this little part right here where you have the spinal cord ending, that's the conus uh, medullaris, okay? The, uh, let's see. Uh, the okay, the conus medullaris, the film, uh, well, the the film terminale number fifteen coming down here. Okay, the denticulate ligaments. Each one of these, these are little projections of the pia matter that come through, and they uh, sort of fix the the uh, the spinal cord in, into the uh, the vertebral canal. Okay, this right here coming down here looks like a, a bunch of little lines leading here. That's the cauda equina. And that's the most important thing here is the cranial nerves and those three things. Now, I have to start taking some stuff back. Okay, the other spinal cord model. The flat one? The flat one, yeah. That's the one that has the entire uh, little man. Okay, this right here, you need, Little to, man. you need to know, on this one, the plexus. Up here, you'll see the cervical plexus. Okay, on both sides here are the brachial plexuses. Down here, and I can't see that number, so I'm not going to even attempt it, okay, is the sacral, sorry, the lumbar plexus, and then down here is the sacral plexus. Okay. Again, that's all you need to know on this model here are the plexuses. Okay. And I, I'm not sure what else we have to go because it's like this was two weeks ago, but I'm pretty sure the cross section of the spinal cord, there's two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where is those? And there's this the is a really big review. So. And then there's, there's the... That's the one of them. That was one of them. Yeah, that's one of them. We already have it. No, we don't have that one. Yeah. We need that one. Okay. This right here, the uh, there, there's two of these. So there's one that's not as good as this one. Okay. Right, I've seen that one. But uh, we have our, our posterior white columns here. Okay. Our lateral white columns. I don't see any number one. I guess it is two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And our anterior white columns. Then we have our gray horns where you find cell bodies, the, the neurons, okay? You have the posterior gray horn, lateral gray horn, and anterior gray horn. A gray commissure which connects the gray horns from one side of the spinal cord to the other, okay? The central canal is an opening that goes down with the continuation of the ventricles of the brain. Okay. Uh, the dorsal root, this is the dorsal root, and this is the ventral root. Okay. The dorsal root contains sensory neurons, the ventral root contains motor neurons, and here you'll see the dorsal, or sometimes called the posterior root ganglion, that contains the cell bodies of the sensory neurons. They come together right here to make the Spinal nerve. Okay. Uh, that looks like about it for that one. Okay. There's another spinal cord model. It's it. You need to 